the latest shark attack victim has survived surgery on his mauled legs. Bodyboarder Matt Lee remains in serious condition after being bitten Thursday by a suspected great white shark. Since April last year, there have been eight shark attacks off the Australian coast. Three of them were fatal, and they say this shark, four meters long, hung around. After the attack, they could see wow. it in the waters. That's scary. I don't want to be in the water with that. <laughs> Here in the U.S., experts are trying to make sense this morning of this year's sudden jump in shark attacks. There have been 11 so far in the Carolinas. The latest happened just two days ago in North Carolina waters. Vicente Arenas is in Key Biscayne, Florida, with some theories as to why these attacks are happening. Vicente, good morning. Good morning. Most of the shark attacks took places on beaches like this one, not so far from shore. And with so many people heading to the ocean these days to have fun, experts are reminding beachgoers that this is where sharks live, no matter how shallow the water may be. Up and down the eastern seaboard, sharks can be found plying the same waters that vacationers also enjoy. Open from here to probably about I don't know. I'd probably even say to there. Last year, 23-year-old Jessica Vaughn was tubing in Florida's intercoastal waterway when she was attacked. I flipped over, started kicking, something came up and hit my leg. Vaughn was quickly pulled to safety, but not before a gash had been torn in her right leg. At first, she didn't know what had happened. When they had pulled me onto the boat, I saw the back half of it and saw the teeth mark, and that's when I realized it was a shark. This year, there have been 23 reported shark attacks in U.S. waters. In North Carolina alone, seven attacks were reported in the past three weeks, the highest number in the eight years since the University of Florida began keeping records. In their shallow water all the way from... Dr. Samuel the, uh, Gruber is the, the director of the Bimini Shark Lab Research Facility. Something strange is going on because the trend is normally zero or one attack in that area in any one year. Theories as to why the attacks are happening include bait fishing, sea turtle migration, lunar cycles, and global warming. Gruber says the real answer lies not with sharks, but with human beings themselves. The real question you have to ask yourself is, where do people swim? People swim in warm waters like Florida, tropical waters, and so you have more people in the water with more sharks, you're likely to get more shark attacks. It's often said that your chances of being struck by lightning are higher than being bitten by a shark. Still, the National Park Service has sent out an alert. It reminds beachgoers to be on the lookout for sharks this holiday weekend. Anthony? Vicente Arenas. Thanks, Vicente.